Um, you know what's funny is like sometimes I'll try to be racist and I'll add O to the end of a word to like make it Spanish, and yeah. then that turns out to just be the word. <laughs> <laughs> like you got restauranto. That's it. I don't think that's the name of restaurant. Yeah, restaurant. Librario. Librario. That's it's Biblioteca. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a famous one. I feel like everyone goes to Biblioteca. Yeah. When I was in Spanish class in uh, in middle school, uh, me and my friends thought we were really clever, so we made up a gang. We're like, we're Los, Las Mariposas, the butterflies. <laughs> we thought that was hilarious. And like all, like all, like we kept making jokes like, oh, Las Mariposas, they're going to get you. And then like my teacher couldn't take it like midway through the semester and she just like slammed a book down. She's like, that means the homosexuals. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you had no idea it was slang for gay man. Yeah, we didn't know that. So you're gay. Was the, I mean, it That's was pretty good. Butterflies. We didn't think it sounded too hard. That's pretty artful. Yeah, yeah. Do you know the rule with like uh, Maricon and Cabron? It's mm -hmm. like the two of them. This Peruvian guy told me like 10 years ago, but he's like, you know, like if you're friends with Mexican guys, you can call them Cabron. Like that's like a term of endearment or whatever mm -hmm. among them. He's like, but don't call other South America or like other Spanish speaking people Cabron. Because really? like Cabron apparently just means like top faggot. <laughs> Yo, I want to be yeah, a cabron. Yeah. Right, right. And then maricone is like the bottom one. But that's only Oh, like, you mean top, like top yeah, and bottom. He's like top like and bottom. So ass. it's like you're like a pimp if you say it to a Mexican. No, I don't I didn't check any of this. Yeah. <laughs> Peruvian guy told me. Peruvian guy whose name? At a bus station? No, I worked with him. I mean, we took the bus together, but I worked with him. So maybe he did tell me at it the bus station. It was on a bus. It was on a bus. It was a Peruvian. It was a fat Peruvian kid. I love it. And I swear to God, his name was Nick Nolte. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he wrote that down as his name on a thing and I was like no way that's hilarious like, you put that down that's a good reference dude that that's was a cool bad. that was yeah. a solid reference Sexy's Cape Fear I love it and then he was like what and I was like that's not your name and he was like yeah it is and he was also a pathological liar mm. and he we were i think we were talking about that the other day it's like pathological liars about yeah they about have all these bullshit stories and diesel. then the, one of their stories will be like real oh yeah, 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 yeah they're yeah, like yeah. you fucking actually oh, beat up a chimp yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, like, that actually happened for real he's got like pictures of him and the chimp he's got blood all over his face but yeah no so he pulls out his id and there it says nick nolte spelled the same way spelled the, exactly the same way that's and awesome it, yeah and i was like that's insane he's like like, yeah, it's a family name. I'm like, well, <laughs> every name is a family. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, That's what does that mean work. when someone says it's yeah. a family oh, name? Oh, well, it's a family name. It means they don't know how to read. Yeah. That's what it means. <laughs> it means they've never encountered another human being in the world. Unless their whole family is all just like, you know, Cher and <laughs> Madonna. This is my aunt Madonna. <laughs> Did you this know my that aunt uh, Marcus Dudu Brown was a family name? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? I don't want to shit on Marcus. He's yeah, I don't want to doo doo on Marcus. There we go. Marcus is a good comic. <laughs> I like very Marcus. Funny. Um, we're still drinking coffee, guys. Uh, we got the Rift Juice Rift going. Juice. Starbucks. Woo. Let me get a Grande Rift Juice. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, so Maricon is the bottom one. Mm, Cabron is the top one. Yeah, that's such an awesome term of endearment. Yeah. It's like you fuck a man in the Power ass. Power top? You're yeah. my boy, dude. <laughs> you fuck, you're yeah. my bottom. The Mexicans have cool the slang, ass. dude. They're cool. What else they you got? You know what I don't understand? Uh, what, what's the proper term? Is it... you? Can, uh, Mexican's fine. You can say that, yeah. right? It you know, feels it, a little weird, you know, it's but funny. Yeah. It felt weird. Yeah, because like growing up, most of the people I knew that were like Hispanic were like you had to call them Hispanic because they could be from Venezuela, right, or, right, right, or you know, El Salvador, Mixed bag in, uh, yeah, yeah, in, uh, Salvador uh, or whatever, Colombia. But then I moved to Texas, and people yeah. in Texas are like, "Oh, there's a bunch of Mexican guys that live yeah, here." Yeah, I was like, "Keep the, your voice down." I grew up in the Southwest, so, yeah. yeah, that was, and exactly. they're all Mexican, yeah, yeah. so you could call them. That. Really, you didn't yeah, have yeah. any like, fucking Mexican, Uruguayans, yeah. any any, any Spanish that. person. But you what just is? Say, Look at the fucking Mexican over there. But it's like Puerto Rican people are like, "Oh, I'm Mexican, man. Well, I don't know what to do." Oh, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's just. Uh, what is Chicano? Is that if you're like for you're from Chicago? Is that like Chirac? <laughs> if you're in Chirac but you're Mexican, Chicano, Chicano, I feel like it means you're wearing like a velvet shirt. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a like, clothing yeah, thing, yeah, like a yeah, vato. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like no silk. No, vato just means dude. Chicano is like yeah. they uh, like I identify as Chicano. Oh really? Yeah, I Chicano got... is Chicano is on par with Hispanic or Mexican or wow, Latino. This is how stupid I am. I think Chicano. I just think. The guy, the from the Jesus, the Jesus character from uh, uh, fucking 
Help me out here. The bowling. I can't believe. I'm oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lebowski. <laughs> Lebowski. Yeah. Yeah. When you say Chicago, you know the bowling movie. <laughs> Bo- yeah, the famous Jesus. bowling movie. Yeah. <laughs> Big Lebowski. Oh yeah. You when just you say don't know Ch- any words, when you say Chicano, that's what I think for some reason. And I bet I can't wait to Google it later and find out how I, wrong I am. I think. Uh, I think Michael Chiklis. <laughs> I think Chicano is like the me- the Mexican uh, term for Michael Chiklis. I think about that movie Blood In, Blood Out. Yeah. So if you, <laughs> you look like Michael, movie? if you're Hispanic but you look like Michael Chiklis, <laughs> you're, you're Chicano. Sure, you're if you're like bald, like if you're like a bald, portly Latino guy, you're, how, that's what Chicano is. And how short do you think? Uh, he seems very short. Four foot eleven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he was 4'11". And like then when little... he goes on talk shows, he goes, or as I like to call it, five foot negative one. <laughs> he like winks. That's good. Yeah. As everyone applauds Chickless, him. great talk show guest. Yeah. We'll have him on. We'll, we'll have him on. on. Yeah, yeah, we got Chickless coming Is Chickless short? We're going to make fun of him. He's, he's like the same height as us. No, nah, nah, I think he's short. Yeah. He looks like a testicle. He does. Somebody described Bob Hoskins that way one time. That he looks like a testicle. Yeah, an angry <laughs> testicle. That's pretty good. You know what's funny? Wait, he, like, s- died loathing the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> that so movie was that. so bad. It was Dude, really bad. It, everything about it was awful. That might have been the most underwhelming celebrity death of all time. Bob, Bob Hoskins. Hoskins. Yeah. What happened? He was nobody, in a lot of really good movies. He's a, he was an amazing actor. Yeah, he was. He was really talented, mm-hmm. and he died, and nobody gave a shit. Yeah. When did he die? He died, like, two years ago, mm-hmm. and on the anniversary of his death last year, articles about his death started coming up, and people were like, oh my god, Bob Hoskins died. Well, that's what happened, dude. I feel like literally in like a year, this past year, everyone claims they loved every celebrity. Mm -hmm. Like, it used to be there'd be like a status here or there, but everyone's writing an essay now. I don't fucking, like, were people that important to you? Doesn't it feel like it just became a thing? I mean, some of them were like... You know, Muhammad Ali's big. Sure. Prince Bowie, is big. Prince. The those fucking were big. Not bad yeah. guy from Harry Potter. That one was stupid. Yeah. Snape? Yeah. Well, he was a he wasn't the bad die guy. hard. <laughs> I don't know. He ended up being the good guy. You uh, fucking illiterate <laughs> piece of shit. Yeah. Well, he never, <laughs> he'd be illiterate to see a movie. <laughs> yeah, he starred in a book. Dude, there's a new <laughs> Harry. He starred in a book, dude. He was also, they had pictures of him. There's a, there's a new Harry Potter coming out, so looks like your boy's about to read a book, dude. The boys are back <laughs> Is the there library. a new there's a new one coming out? I think, yeah. She's making mad hair. Hell yeah, dude. dude. That it bitch was. ain't rich enough. JK, get yours, girl. Um, you never read any Harry Potter, bitch, dude? Me? Little no. Mullen? No. What were you doing, dude? Making um, fun of retarded children? No, I think I read... Uh, I read, At eleven, what were you doing? Heroin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, 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 I read books. Well, no, I didn't really read that many books. I guess the, the books I read as a kid were like, I guess Goosebumps was like elementary Hell school. Yeah, yeah, Goosebumps. Hell yeah. The, uh, what was it? Fear Street. That was I read maybe one of those. Those were like the more mm-hmm. hardcore ones, right? Yeah. And then yeah, I would read yeah. the shit we were assigned in school. The only shit I really remember reading outside of school was like C.S. Lewis stuff, um, Ender's Game. Mm-hmm. I read all those Ender's mm-hmm. Game books. But the, the, he came out with like nine other books after like a resurgence in the popularity of those books. Yeah. Like when I was Cash in grab. middle school. Yeah. Because I remember Ender's Game was that came out in the 80s. And I remember reading mm-hmm. that when I was in like third grade. And then like again when I was in fifth grade. And then they released like a whole, you know, you know what it was? It was an additional series based on one of the characters from Ender's mm-hmm. Game. A little spin-off, Frasier, the Frasier. Yeah, the Ender's actually, Game. actually it was Frasier. It was a novelization <laughs> of Frasier. <laughs> Niles. Yeah. Let's Niles, go. there's aliens. We have to fuck these book, aliens. My favorite books growing up were uh, that mo- that book, uh, Fudge. Do you remember? Hell yes, yeah. dude. Fudge I fucked with Fudge. And uh, Judy Ma- Mein Kampf. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. That was, it had to be That's Fudge good, or Mein Kampf. Well, they're both remember. like coming of age stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hitler sure. gets his period. Yeah. That's a big chapter. Yeah. They're, both, they're both written in prison. <laughs> you know what I never understood? <laughs> Judy, Judy Bloom. Bloom was in prison. Judy Bloom doing time for a fucking yeah, manslaughter. Yeah. <laughs> Not to get into conspiracy theories here, Let's but hear like, it. how was it that Anne Frank was the only person with a diary? <laughs> that was that the only just one. Off the hardest. There couldn't. Be, there was not a better. She got her period in it. Yeah, she, I've never Judy read Blue, it. Speaking never of read Judy it. Bloom and getting your period, mm-hmm. I was like really into those fudge books. And then I got "Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret." One summer, like do, my parents made me do the fucking summer reading club or whatever. Of course, and I, my I read it, and it's about getting your period for the first time. So like, I had a bunch of questions for my parents. 
and my mom literally took me to the library and yelled at the librarian in front of me. <laughs> it was so humiliating. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so you humiliated. ever tell my boy about How girls. How dare you? <laughs> my this mom... is a young adult novel. This should not be an easy readers. 